This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 712, Why You Should Be Planning Your Meals, by Stacey Artisan with nerdfitness.com, and I'm Dr. Neil. Welcome back to another edition of Optimal Health Daily, or welcome for the first time if you're new here. This is the podcast where I act as your very own personal narrator and read to you from some of the most popular health and fitness blogs online. Today, we're featuring a guest writer on Nerd Fitness, and the author is gonna talk about something that I'm a huge fan of, planning your meals. So let's hear today's post as we optimize your life. Why You Should Be Planning Your Meals by Stacy Artisan with nerdfitness.com. Think about walking into a gym and randomly doing a few sets here, a few sets there, a wandering sheep without a shepherd. We've all been there. Do we really expect to make huge progress without knowing what we're doing? No, of course not. It's why we love having a plan to follow. It eliminates 99% of the decisions that can derail us on our progress. Should I do three sets of five or five sets of five? Ah. Now, we know we need a workout plan to follow to make progress, but why don't we think of food the same way? Today, I wanna try to convince you that you should. A few decisions early in the week can eliminate hours of work or dozens of bad decisions later on in the week and be the difference between success and failure, whether you're trying to gain weight or even lose weight. How is this possible? We say it so often on the blog and we don't let up because it's so true. 80 to 90% of your success or failure, no matter your goals, will come from your diet. We have a tendency to think we know about food and thus planning is unnecessary. Oh, I don't know about deadlifts, but I've been eating food since I was born. I know sugar is bad, eat less processed food and more real stuff. I don't have time to plan, so I'll just make healthy choices as I go. As Morpheus tells Neo, there's a difference between knowing the path and walking the path. Whether you're trying to become the one or trying to get yourself to stop eating like a jack, I think most of us know how difficult just doing it can be. Making choices based on emotion and convenience are just too easy. We have that part of our brain, the lizard brain, that only thinks in the short term. Gimme, 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 now, now, now. How many times have you gotten out of work after a ruthlessly long and miserable day, skipped lunch, had to pick the kids up from daycare or insert some other errand, and then you still need to think about what to make for dinner? Brutal. Our days can sap our willpower, decision fatigue sets in, and instead of going home to make a healthy decision, you jump on team lizard brain and do the thing to make your stomach happy temporarily. Like, speed dialing your favorite pizza place, or picking up fast food on the way home, or eating junk food in your pantry, or calling that one Chinese food place that gives you extra dumplings, or eating a healthy dinner, but eating too much of it, or grabbing dessert too frequently. You meant well. You had every intention of eating healthy. You even had the ingredients in your fridge. But you know what? Hit up Domino's and fire up Daredevil on Netflix. You had a hard day. You earned it, right? Remember, Life isn't a superhero fantasy. It's more like Deadpool. Things get messy. Happens. And we know this, which means if we can set ourselves up for success with a good meal prep system amidst this messy reality, it's a near guaranteed way to level up. Why meal prep? Exhausted with life situations aside, there are enormous perks to having your meals planned and prepped. Even just having a single meal each day partially planned, let's say lunch, can set you up for effortless progress for months and months. Why? Reason number one, it's easier to not overeat or undereat if you have pre-portioned your meals ahead of time. Making the decision ahead of time removes the emotion out of how much food should I eat or should I go back for seconds? You know you eat what is in that container, no more or no less. Reason number two, it has built-in accountability and punishment. If you pre-cook your meals, What happens if you don't eat them? You throw them away, which is basically like throwing away the money you spent on the food. This is very similar to the strategy that helped Saint lose weight for his wedding. He bet a friend $500 that he would get in shape by his wedding day. Not wanting to lose his money, he was pressured into actually making healthy changes. Reason number three, save some money. I'll let you do the math about your specific situation, but when you do your own meal prep, it is nearly always a strategy which saves you a ton of money compared to dining out. You can then spend that extra money on the important stuff. And this doesn't even factor in the costs we refuse to think about for some reason. 
The money we'll spend on medication, hospital visits, surgery, and a shortened lifespan. You know, the real cost of living an unhealthy life. Reason number four, it also saves you precious time. It seems like a large time investment up front, but you could make a week's worth of meals in nearly the same time as it takes you to make a single meal. For the same reason the assembly line revolutionized mass production, the strategy of cooking everything at once will pay you dividends and extra hours in your week. Still complaining that you don't have time to work out? Get a few extra hours back by meal prepping. Bazinga. And reason number five, avoid willpower demands. Spend it elsewhere. If you know that you need to be eating what is in your pre-planned and pre-cooked meals, you just need enough willpower to cook once. Think about how many times you've gone into the week with good intentions, but by Tuesday or Wednesday, you've already switched back to something other than the healthy option. It's far easier to stay on track if your meals are ready to go. Not only that, but you can use this extra willpower on other habits you are forming, like getting to the gym or to that new martial arts class. Note, meal planning does not consist of making 21 different recipes for 21 different meals each week. Even those of us who have been doing this for years aren't that crazy. That just sounds exhausting. Instead, you'll be picking one meal per day, maybe lunch, maybe dinner, perhaps the one you struggle the most with. You'll prepare those five meals for your work week. Are you on board? You just listened to the post titled Why You Should Be Planning Your Meals by Stacy Artisan with nerdfitness.com. Dr. Neil here again with my commentary. I am a huge fan of meal planning for myself mostly because I am totally the type that Stacy described that will be good Monday and Tuesday, but by midweek, I'm usually pretty tired and will succumb to more convenience types of foods. But that's why I take some time usually every Sunday to plan and prep my meals. And something that I found to be really helpful is I'm usually really excited and motivated when I go to the grocery store on the weekends. And when I come home, I'm putting all my groceries away and I'm really excited because I'm gonna have these nutritious, balanced meals all week. I'll take that one extra step to go ahead and wash and chop and pre-portion my produce. Because here's what happens. You're listening to a podcast like this, you get motivated and you're like, yes, I'm gonna plan my meals, but something goes wrong. Let's say you take all the steps, you even go grocery shopping, you buy that broccoli and that kale and you're planning exactly what you're gonna eat. But then by, again, midweek, you start feeling tired. That stuff is in your fridge, but it's not quite ready to go. And so you think about how that's gonna take some extra time. You've gotta rinse that kale. You've gotta chop that broccoli. Oh, I'm too tired for that. So what I do, because I know I'm the same way, is I like to prep all of those on Sunday as soon as I get home from grocery shopping. Since I'm putting the food away anyways, let's go ahead and rinse, chop, and pre-portion that stuff right now. And then instead of tucking it away in a crisper drawer at the very bottom of the fridge where it stays hidden, I like to put all those pre-portioned foods right in plain sight so that every time I open the fridge, it's right there as a reminder, don't forget, you're gonna be using this really, really soon. So I highly encourage you to take that one extra step. You're gonna be motivated when you get home after spending all of that money on fresh food. So go ahead and do that one extra step and it'll make it much more likely that you'll actually use those foods that you just bought. All right, really quickly before I go, If you wanna help keep our podcasts alive, we have many different ways you can help, both financial and otherwise. Come check out oldpodcast.com slash support to see how. Anything listed there would be a huge help. In fact, one of the easiest things you can do right now is to share this episode with someone. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. Thank you as always for listening. Thank you in advance for sharing this show with someone and I'll be back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, And together, we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. 
Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift, as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.